Hey Philip, let's take a trip up the Karakorum Highway from Pakistan to Kyrgyzstan on the way we fly in the Hunza Valley and climb Mustagata in China. I think the 2000 km trip can be done in 6 weeks. Call me. One day I want to talk to them personally and ask them where they are going to fly and then I will maybe also go there and fly there and that's what we are here for. My name is Oriol and I'm from Spain. Hi, my name is Robert Vanenham and I live in New Zealand. I'm Julian Robinson from Scotland. My name is Gray Hamilton and I'm from New Zealand. My name is Brad Sander, I'm from America, the US. There's hardly any words that can describe the beauty of the landscape. It's uh, the scale of the mountains is, uh, is something different. The scenery that you see, um, and then the, the travel experience, the people, and the history here—it's been um, beyond anything else I've done. Big mountains, big mountains, super high cloud base. Seems like you're flying for hours, and the mountain never gets any closer. I get uh, around six thousand five hundred meters. The feelings uh, you get uh, while you're flying along those uh, massive walls and and beautiful glaciers. Close to some uh, really beautiful glaciers and and rock faces. Um, it is fantastic to uh, share that with a few other pilots. Massive views of. Incredible scenery, mountains, terrain. That's why I'm back. Uh, coming to Pakistan and flying in Pakistan is a is a different level than any other place that I've been. If you um, have the abilities um, and the guts, this is the place to come to um, to extend your flying experience. Mustagata was like the, the main part of our story, of our altitude experience. We, we didn't really know what to expect, so first we arrived in the base camp, we, we saw yeah, many people there, we met nice Italian friends, and yeah, then we started to climb. First we, we went to Camp 1, it's 5400 meters. And the first camp, we took all our stuff with us, all the stuff for the next two camps after camp one. And 
it was really heavy <laughs> we didn't feel well at all we just managed to reach the first camp and after that we were all feeling really bad because of the altitude this part already was a great experience <laughs> about altitude because on the way down I, I was really feeling sick I even had to vomit but then it was okay again so it was really like fuck we're really high now and we're really feeling this altitude so according to plan we set the camp 5400 meters we left for our tents and our food that's gonna be taken in the next days upper to the upper camps and uh, who's gonna take it up there? we ah we okay we. it's gonna be taken there yeah by us and uh, skiing down was not so easy for me because there was a storm was coming there was a lot of fog mist and I couldn't find a perspective and sometimes I thought that I was just stopping, stop, but I was skiing, sliding down. And then everywhere where we are going down, everywhere around us was thunderstorms. And we could see even some lightning, so it was really, I was really scared. Three days ago we came back from Camp 2, we slept one night there and now we try to recover a little bit and today we will go up again and start the, like the last time on the mountain. Go to Camp 1, go to Camp 2, Camp 3 and then maybe we try to get to the summit. When we reach Camp 3 we can stay only one night there and in the morning we have to decide to go up or to go down so I hope that the weather will let us to climb the summit. After the rest we decided okay now we want to risk to go to the summit or we want to try to go to the summit. So we climbed to Camp 1. It was already easy because we were very used to it. We climbed the next day to Camp 2. That was a little bit harder already because um, the stomach, my stomach at least, gets really sensitive for, for these things. Headache and stomach and so I had to get a rest when we arrived in Camp 2. But after two hours everything was fine again. Yeah, next day 6-8 was Camp 3 and then weather looked really good, we, we, we had the information that the weather also on the fourth day will be really good but uh, during the night in Camp 3 it was snowing like crazy, it was snowing all night. I'm at around six, nine thousand meters now and it was snowing all night. I wasn't sleeping like maybe one hour and now we have about 30 centimeters of fresh snow so this is really really hard to go up the last part to the summit and for me it's very important to fly down and over there some big clouds already so I will take out my glider now and just take off from here. Mm -hmm. 